Hello everyone, Brian Hansen here from the Bible Animated. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an effect like this. Not with the blurring here, that I'm not showing you how to do that. It's simple, but I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to get these, the uh, kind of sparkings that are going across the surface. If you've ever seen any company lowers or stuff, you'll notice how they sometimes, they'll put like an electric across it. This is just a real simple way to sort of achieve that effect. Okay, let's open up the scene we'll be working on. I'm actually going to be using our company logo, uh, which I'm sure if I render it won't work because uh, it always gives me trouble with the image on here. But, okay, let's start this off. First, we'll, I'm going to turn off the mirroring on that because that's going to make take longer to render. I'll actually drop it down to a 50% as well. Yeah, 75 I don't want to take too long rendering this. Okay, so first, let's make a duplicate. Okay, and the only reason I'm doing this, because if you know this isn't going to work, I'm just I'm just going to show you that this won't work. Okay, and then we're going to scale it a little bigger. Now, this is obviously the problem. I can't scale it bigger to do it, because optimally, let me just uh, move this stuff over to a different layer here. Okay, optimally what we would want to do is okay so we have this object make a duplicate of the object which would be a little bigger then on the duplicate we'd add the new material with a texture called electric make sure we had Z transparency turned on go over to the textures use marble oops not that give it tons of turbulence give it a bit more noise depth that's a bit too much there Okay, and then go over here and change that from color to the alpha. Double on the alpha. And now, oops, not working. Okay. Oh, turn the alpha down. There we go. Optimally, this is more or less what we would want to do. Obviously, of course, we would have to turn on tree shadow for the for the underneath one here and several other things we'd have to all set up oh, I can't remember what they all are but whatever it it just won't work because scaling a text larger you can't do this anything that's a complex pattern to it cannot just be scaled larger and made to work so what you have to do instead is use texture channels Right now we have no textures on this material, so we're going to add a new, and we'll call this the base material. Now that should just be our chrome, so we're just going to take this, and we'll just take a blend. Now I'm not even sure if this is actually necessary. Color blend, and we're just going to turn this on to a grayish. 0.346 is what I'll use. Uh -huh. Let's see, 0.346. Okay, so now if we were to render that, we would get, ta-da, it's gray, wow. Okay, but so then, hey, and the Bible is actually coming out right. Um, So we go to the next, we need a new material, and this will actually, we can just use that electric one I created a second ago. Elect. I'm going to take the C off the end. Okay. And then turn it off of color. Alpha twice. Turn the alpha to zero. Z transparency. Now. Oh man, I wish I could remember if I'm doing this right. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Um. We don't want to use that silver color anymore. So. We'll take the color band on this guy. Actually, going to move this over quite a bit. Draw the alpha. That's actually more or less already giving me the effect I want. And we want to use the color on that. Do the alpha the other way, okay. So we only want one alpha on this elect material. And, okay, definitely not working. I am getting a very interesting look, but that is not the look I'm looking for. I also really like that shadow, that is cool. But that's not what I'm looking for. Um. Just bear with me as I try to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, the base material. 
is to affect the color. Do you want to turn the alpha up? Maybe that's what we need. Need the alpha on? Nope, and just give me a black. Uh, I wish I could remember how I did this. Um, <laughs> I'm actually just going to do... Oops, wrong folder. I'm just going to swing over to the folder that the one other one is in. And let's see, I want a logo spin with effect. Okay, that's just the defocusing. I'm turn off composite, go back to the model. Okay. So the material setup here was let's turn off the let's keep it on. Okay. So I had yellow, which was my base material. Set up as a blend, just being yellow. Okay. Then I had electric as a material on top of that. Tracking to an object, just because I want to animate it moving. Map, map to, map to the color, and to the emit. Nothing with the alpha, okay. Let's turn off the electric from the alpha. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. That, okay, that's what I was doing wrong. I figured it out now. The, um, I don't need an alpha. You'd use an alpha if it was... One object on top and it had to be able to you could see past the top covering into the mesh that was underneath. So that's what I was doing wrong. You know, obviously if you want the electric stuff there to move or something. I'll just set this up to actually to follow an object. I'll have to create a new oops. I'll have to create a new object here. Just use an empty. We'll call it Bible just for the sake of calling a Bible, I guess. Uh, right there, then we'll insert a location key. Go up uh, about 100 frames. Move it over and give it a new location key. Okay, now it moves. The texture is going to follow this. So the text, the Bible, will be going through an apparent texture field, which is because the texture is moving, which will move the electric sparks here around on the wording. Now, if we go back to the textures here, we can actually create a new texture, a new line here in the color band. Okay, we're actually going to put this to a white, because on the edge of our electric, Turn the alpha to one. We'd probably have a bit of actually that would be the other way. The inside of it would be white with a bit of a blue on the outside. I'm thinking. I can't remember now. Do you want blue on the inside or blue on the out? Um. Yeah, the white band is too thick, and yeah, we want the blue on the outside. So let's do that. And there we go. So you have the white sparks. And the blue is on the outside now. Yeah, we could we could play with this a lot. I'm actually thinking there is a way that you can grow a mesh and not just scale it from the center point, grow it from all vert vertices and push them outward. But I'm not sure and I haven't researched that yet. I really should. Because if you could do that, that would be how you'd get the sparks that are not on the mesh. And then we could have reflectivity set up onto the material of the Bible animated here and we would see the sparks reflecting on that and whatnot but for a cheap something that's in the distance maybe you're doing this on um I don't even know what a real life application for this would be I mean aside from putting it on a logo which normally you're gonna have full screen so you know but for a quick easy simple way to do it this works it's what I used not for anything actually for the Bible animated yet, just for an Awana logo spin for our Awana group that my commander wanted me to make. I just did it for fun. I was just doing all sorts of different stuff than that was. So my son upon thought, hey, this is kind of cool. I'll show people how to do this. So there you have it. That is it. Um, I could render an animation, but that would take too long and I haven't rendered one yet. I might just throw it in at the end of this video to show you the final animation. That's probably what I'll do. But... Till next time, and Brian Hansen for the Bible Animated. Thanks for watching. Happy blending. And, um, you know, I think we're going to put this one up on Vimo. 
So it will be on Vimo first. Of course, you're going to be watching it now on Vimo, and you'll be watching it, and you'll be saying, well, yeah, it is on Vimo, that's why I'm watching it. So obviously that's where it is. Um, it was going to go up on YouTube too as well, though. So if you're not a Vimo subscriber, you don't have a Vimo channel and whatnot, don't worry, I will put it up on YouTube in a few days, and then you can see it from there. I don't know what makes YouTube so much better than Vimo. I mean, Vimo, you can download stuff, but whatever. Do with what you will. Thanks for watching. God bless.